Okay, this is the M1 paper from May 2022. It's question number three, which is a dynamics question. And in particular, it's a connected particles question. So let's have a look at it. Tractor of mass six tons, dragging a block of mass two tons. It's a rough horizontal ground. There's a cable connecting them. The cable's light and inextensible. Then we've got lots of forces here to put on. So let's jump straight into a force diagram and see what we've got going on for this particular question. So, force diagrams are really, really important in any dynamics question. Make them nice and large, make it really clear where all your forces are, what direction they're acting in, and then normally we can make a start on it. So, we've got a tractor here, we've got a block here, they're being connected by a cable, so straight away I'll put a tension here and a tension in there. Uh, it tells me that the tractor is of mass six tons, so there's the first place just to be careful about. If it's mass six tons, then the weight, well, six tons is 6,000 kilograms. So when we're doing weight mg, I'm gonna get 6,000 g there. I would normally put my reaction force on here and call it RT, but R has been taken by the actual question here. So I can't call it RT. So I my normal other letter then is a normal reaction. So I've got that situation going on with the tractor and a very similar one going on with the block, but the block is two tons. So again, I'll have the normal reaction of the block in there. Uh, let's read through to see what we've got in terms of forces. It says the driving force of the tractor is 7,400 Newtons. So I've got a force of 7,400 Newtons acting there. Resistance to motion of the tractor is 200. Okay, so I just need to tidy up this diagram now then. So let's just get rid of those for a second. I've got 200 Newtons. That's just the resistance of the um, tractor. And R, which is the resistance of the block. So I'm going to put my tension back in, but actually if I read a little bit further on down, I can see that the tension, they actually tell me, quite unusual that they tell me tension, it's normally something I've got to work out, but they tell me the tension is 6,000, so I can put all of those ones on. Uh, so I always read through the question again and just make sure I've got everything there then. So yeah, all the information is on, my 7,400, my two resistances, my tensions are on, my reaction forces and my weights are there. It says, um, given that the tension's there and the tractor is accelerating, so put that on, that'll help me to work out F equals MA if um, that's what I'm gonna do. Acceleration's going in that direction. Um, can we find the value of R? Right, so if I'm looking at the value of R then, what I'd want to do would be to just isolate the block there and do F equals MA uh, in that direction, 6,000 minus R is gonna be mass times acceleration, but I haven't got enough information there because I don't know R and I don't know A. So what I'm actually going to do, and we do this quite often, is consider this system in different parts. First of all, I'm just gonna consider the tractor here. And if I consider the tractor there and do F equals MA, it looks like I've got everything I need to be able to work out the acceleration. The acceleration is the only thing I don't know. So I'll use the tractor to work out the acceleration. The acceleration is the same for all of it. So I'll then be able to use that acceleration to work out R, which is missing. So let's explain that to the examiner. I've explained it to you, let's explain it to the examiner using the correct sort of language and terminology. So I'm gonna tell the examiner, consider the tractor. Resolve horizontally. And if I resolve horizontally, I'm going to get F equals MA. So horizontally, I've got those forces acting. 7,400 minus the 200 minus the 6,000. That's the overall force. That's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. So 7,400 minus the 200, minus the 6,000 is equal to mass. We're only considering the tractor, so it's 6,000 times acceleration. So acceleration is the only thing we don't know there. Just tidy that up. Uh, that's 1,200 
is equal to 6,000 A. So A will work out to be 1,200 divided by uh, 6,000, which is, I always tend to leave it in terms of fractions. It's a fifth or 0.2 uh, meters per second squared. So now I've got that, what I can now do is to just look at the block this time. And in the block, I've got 6,000 minus R, again here, if we're looking there, F equals MA, 6,000 minus R is equal to mass times acceleration. And the only thing I don't know this time is R. So again, just to make it clear for the examiner. So consider the block. Resolve horizontally. I always tell all my students, write all this information. It takes a couple of seconds to write it in, but it's just making it clear to the examiner what you're doing. And, you know, any of us could make mistakes. I want to be able to get some method marks. I know there's not many of them available. And also, I think you probably, I'm less likely to make a mistake if I go through and do everything in a quite a logical way. So F, we've just said that that's going to be this time 6,000 minus R is equal to mass times acceleration. And it's not 6,000 anymore, it's 2,000 now. So there's a perfect example of where just by writing all this stuff out and taking a bit of time, uh, we can just rearrange this and R works out to be equal to 5,600 newtons. So that's part A done. Part B then. And part B is very quick, isn't it? Part B just says, um, state how you've used the fact that the cable is modelled uh, as being inextensible. So if it's inextensible, then the acceleration is the same throughout the system. Uh, I'm going to write down, um, if string is inextensible, then... And I'm going to say acceleration is constant for the truck and the block. It is worth you just going ahead and having a look at, they're, they're alongside these videos, have a look at the examiner's report every time you get one of these sorts of questions involving modelling because they will be very specific about what they will accept and what they won't accept. There's only about half a dozen different versions of the um, modeling question. Go away and learn them all. Go away and literally find out every single question, see what they are, and make sure that your answers are detailed enough just to get that mark there. What we don't want to do is to uh, lose a mark through just, just being a bit careless with that. Okay, hopefully that one makes sense to you all.